If you have been thinking about bidding the Instagram algorithm to boost your e-commerce sales, this video is for you. So here are the steps I want you need to follow right now if you want to beat the Instagram algorithm for more e-commerce sales. Number one, you need, to, you need to comply with the community guidelines. The whole thing is that whether you're posting on the feed, in Reels or to Stories, Instagram's algorithm will limit the visibility of content that goes against the app's community guidelines, right? So the bottom line is you want to actually abide by the laws and regulations that are available on the platform. So if you're sharing misinformation, content that is sexual, posts that are political in nature, content that is material that's potentially upsetting or sensitive, or even just low resolution media, you may find your content less widely distributed. So you don't want to have that. You want to have con you want to have you want to be on the good side of uh, the Instagram algorithm or algorithms. Okay. So step number one, you need to abide by the community guidelines. Step number two, you need to get creative with the reels. So the whole thing, and when we talk about Instagram reels, we're talking about a fantastic opportunity to show your creativity, to show your uniqueness about your brain, but also you as a person or as a, brain or, or as a business. You want to show it on the platform. Okay, so you need to embrace the opportunity for visibility by adding reels to your content calendar. Remember, on Instagram, you have uh, millions of uh, visitors every day. They're just flocking to the platform to, to entertain themselves, to learn, to, to, to educate themselves. So you want to have, so make sure that your reels are short and sweet and above all, fun. Because the algorithm will rank reels for their entertainment value. This is very important. And the thing is, you want to be on the good side of history, so to speak, because uh, Instagram's uh, Instagram's management in the last few years has been pushing a lot for those uh, for those reels because they're trying to they're trying to uh, to rival uh, YouTube Shorts and also uh, TikToks. Okay, so those are really important. So there is a there is a motivation, there is an incentive for you to actually get into that bandwagon and make sure that you use it to your to your advantage. Okay, so use the bells and whistles, use filters camera effects, music, whatever grabs attention in a positive way, in a very creative way, you will be rewarded on the platform. The third thing I want you to do right now is to consistently share Instagram Reels. So before I was just talking to you about being creative. Now I want to focus on the fact that you need to be consistent. By the way, welcome back to the show. It's really a pleasure to have you here. So the thing is that when we talk about Instagram Reels, it's not just about the quality, but also is it's about the frequency. So frequency, uh, you can call it quantity and quality. Okay, I'm not asking you to post Reels every single day. If you can, that will be fantastic. If not, that's fine. Also, every other day or twice a week or whatever. But you have to be consistent. Okay, Instagram Reels are still being heavily promoted by Instagram across the entire app experience okay plus reels will get twice as much real estate in the instagram explore page making them a major tactic for discovery and growth so if, if your brain right now is uh, at a stage where you're thinking about discovery you're thinking about growth you're thinking about expansion you're thinking about scalability then you might want to think about instagram reels okay but again when we talk about instagram reels we're talking about quality and quantity so creativity and consistency the two c's or the two q's number four you want to schedule your post at the right time for a maximum reach this is really important audience interaction is an important signal across the board on instagram so posting your content at the right day and time is going to make a huge difference to your organic reach okay and so this is important so what you want to do is luckily instagram has um, analytics that you can actually you can look at the back end of things and actually study who your target audience is, okay? Who your fans are, where they're from, when they actually uh, log on and view your videos or your reels, you know. So you have a constellation of data points that you can actually study to see exactly what kind of uh, demographics you're talking about and their habits, okay? So this is important. So please schedule your post at the right time. Very important. And when we talk about right time, we're not just talking about time during the day. We're talking about time during uh, the month also, maybe on holidays holidays when people are home. or So you have to actually study. Everything depends on your target audience. So make sure that you study your target audience to know exactly 
what type of uh, right time what, what type of time is right for them okay because uh, de depending on the demographics you may have different uh, ideal posting times step number five you want to encourage engagement by the way i want to quickly remind you of today's conversation the topic we're talking about five smart ways okay actually more than five actually we're talking about 10 smart ways 10 10 smart ways to beat the instagram algorithm for higher e-commerce sales okay so number five you want to encourage engagement so as you know engagement is huge for the algorithm okay if you're not getting the engagement you want through you need to actually find ways to actually uh engage people so we're talking about you can actually uh have uh you can have uh so instead of uh, going with reels you can go on multiple uh, formats you can choose uh instagram stories you can go with instagram reels you can go you can go with other other formats okay and uh, the thing you need to understand here is that you want to add your uh, viewers your followers to actually pitch it it's really important after all comments are the best way to signal engagement to the algorithm though we're not going to turn our nose up uh, like you know like, oh yeah you know this is uh, all that matters no but it, it, it's still important but if you don't get the engagement you have to find ways to prompt your audience to speak up whenever you can okay so it's very important so for reference the general benchmark benchmark for good engagement good being like quote unquote engagement on instagram is somewhere between one to five percent okay something you need to think about so if you're looking to improve your own engagement rate there are a few actions and uh, the few action items you you can actually do first you need to define your audience so you know what they want from you in other words you need to research your target audience i just talked about that and you need to respond to comments and dms if you have a lot this is how, this is actually something you need to do and yet you have to do this consistently and you need to create an ongoing story where you can share a post you've been tagged in okay so this is kind of cool because remember there's also one thing that's really plays an important role on instagram that's the ugc so user generated content so this will play an important role also so overall you have a lot of ways to uh, increase your Insta instagram engagement you have to do it one thing you need to understand here is that you can actually ask questions directly to your audience or you can encourage commentary with a caption or within the image or video or video itself so you can ask people please comment below it's all about engaging folks it's all about requesting comments it's all about interactions okay and the cool thing is that the instagram algorithm will reward that okay so number one combine you want to comply with the community guidelines number two get creative with reels number three consistently share instagram reels number four schedule your post at the right time for maximum reach number five encourage engagement very important number six you want to encourage more interactions with ig stories stickers okay the thing is that instagram stories stickers are really a great way to encourage audience engagement and the more engagement your post gets the higher they will be boosted by the instagram algorithm okay and the cool thing is that there are lots of instagram stickers but the best one for driving engagement are the poll the emoji slider and question stickers okay and uh, so what, what we want to what we want to say is that what we have found in our research is that if you include a sticker on your first story you are able going to you are able to go to get a, an added boost right away okay number seven you want to embrace the power of hashtags okay by the way i want to quickly remind you of today's conversation we're talking about the top 10 smart ways to beat the instagram algorithm for higher e-commerce sales so number seven you want to embrace the power of hashtags one thing for sure is that we know that the Instagram algorithm plays an important, actually pays a lot of attention to uh, to hashtag, okay? And it's really important to understand that everything goes around hashtag, everything everything gathers around hashtag, and, not, and this is not just on uh, Instagram. You have it on Facebook, on uh, YouTube, and other social media, but you have it more on Instagram, okay? So employing accurate and descriptive hashtags is a great way to label your content for a maximum reach. And if the algorithm can compute just what your photo or post is about, it can more easily share with people who are interested in that particular topic.
okay and plus unlike instagram ads the other way to expand reach past your existing audience hashtags are free okay so to use hashtags correctly just slap like you can actually put whatever whatever you whatever you say like whatever your brand refers to okay you want to do some research to dig in dig around your your niche you want to do your research and use hashtags that actually describe what your post is about okay it's not about just like you know lying to people or just mislabeling a post no so adding hashtags and keywords to your post is an effective way to reach more people on instagram which means more views for the instagram algorithm to take into account okay very important now in terms of frequency it really depends on uh, what really works for your brain some brains are comfortable posting a lot of hashtags some are comfortable having a very few hashtags you need to work you need to see what really works for you it's there's no there's no like standard number that you had to go by it really depends on what kind of uh, niche you're in it depends on what kind of um, response you want from your audience it's all about your demographics it's all about your target audience okay but you can always start with the one or two hashtags and see how to go from there Number eight, you want to post consistently, okay? This is kind of similar to what I said earlier about the Instagram Reels. Consistency is key. Everybody talks about consistency, but it, it is really key. And not just on Instagram, because you have to understand, all those social media, Instagram included, they want attention, right? So you have 24 hours in a day, and one person, they have to sleep eight hours, they have to do their work eight hours, and the other eight hours for entertainment, education, and, um, and information, Instagram wants to have a, a big piece of that. So does uh, YouTube, so does Facebook, so does uh, Twitter, so does LinkedIn. So Instagram wants you to post consistently. If you do post consistently, the algorithm is going to reward you, okay? And uh, the thing, you, what you want to do here is it's just a lot better to schedule your post. So again, here, we don't, I'm not going to tell you which one, which frequency is, uh, is going to work for you. It really depends on your brain, on your brain it depends on your target audience some target audience want you to post every single day some target audience want you to post uh, every other day it really depends on what really works for you so you have to see what uh, works for your your brain and what your uh, your rivals are also doing because uh, you don't want to reinvent the wheel if something is working for your rivals you want to maybe uh, copycat that also okay and um yeah this is really what it is and so uh drive conversations with engaging captions it's not just about posting low quality uh, content. You want to put, you want to post high quality content often. Number nine, you need to track and understand your analytics. I spoke earlier about analytics. A good Instagram analytics tool will go beyond vanity metrics and help you zero in on your audience and identify the kind of content that they'll keep coming in back for. Okay, so no matter how busy you are, getting automatic analytics reports will help you with the utmost, uh, with the utmost. Uh, detail about your instagram strategy okay again it's all about boosting your e-commerce sales okay so using an instagram analytics tools you can use it to find out when your audience is online so you can schedule your post during that window which hashtags are performing really well what posts are earning real engagement right this is important okay so uh yeah number nine and number ten the last you want to cross promote your IG content, your Instagram content. So if you're looking for a quick and easy engagement win to help boost your algorithm ranking, cross promoting your Instagram content is a great place to start. You will share views, likes and comments, allowing you to leverage and engage with each other community. So this is this is really good. So overall, this is a win win for you and all the other uh, players that are involved into the, in, the, in the whole equation. So fantastic. So the top 10 ways to beat the Instagram algorithm for higher e-commerce sales. You want to comply with the community guidelines, get creative with, with Reels, consistently share Instagram Reels, schedule your posts at the right time for maximum reach, encourage engagement, encourage more interaction with IG story stickers, embrace the power of hashtags, post consistently, track and understand your analytics, and cross-promote your IG content. Before I close to this conversation, let me just uh, do a little overview here so we are clear about what we're talking about. So what is the Instagram algorithm? So 
when you think about Instagram, uh, the Instagram algorithm is just a set of rules that rank content on the platform. Very simple. Okay. And the thing here is that it decides what content shows up and in what order on all Instagram users' feeds, the Explorer page, the Reels feed, hashtag pages, etc. And so the Instagram algorithm analyzes every piece of content posted to the platform. It takes metadata, including captions and alt text applied to images, hashtags, and engagement metrics into account. And what happens here is that based on that information, the algorithm distributes content in a way designed to ensure that users have easy access to what they are most interested in seeing. So in simple terms, the Instagram algorithm cross-references information about content, I'm talking about posts, stories, and reels, with information about users' interest and behavior on the platform to serve the right content to the right people. That's the key word here. That's the key phrase, to serve the right content to the right people. So the main purpose of the Instagram algorithm is to make each user's experience with the platform as pleasant as possible. Okay, this is really important. And one thing I want to say here is that, and by the way, this is this is in sync with what uh, what Instagram CEO said in the, in the blog post in twenty like two years ago, where he said, "We want to make the most of your time, and we believe that using technology, the Instagram algorithm, to personalize your experience is the best way to do that." Okay. So the Instagram algorithm works in three ways. So there are three most important ranking factors of the, of the Instagram algorithm, at least as of the date of this show. So you have the relationship, the relationship between the author of the content and the viewer. Do, do they follow each other? Do they message each other or leave comments? So if you have repeatedly interacted with a specific user in the past, you are more likely to see the new content they post. This is very important for businesses. So active community management, including responding to DMs and comments, can improve a brand's visibility on Instagram. Then you have interest. So besides relationship, you have interest. Does a user typically interact with this type of content? When the Instagram algorithm recognizes that users enjoy, a user enjoys a specific content type or format, they serve them more of the same. And then you have relevancy. So Instagram decides how relevant every piece of content is. This includes an analysis of where it fits with trending topics as well as the timeliness factor. So recent posts are considered more relevant than old ones. So to close today's conversation, let me give you a few pro tips. So when we talk about the Instagram algorithm, just remember, it's just a set of rules, nothing complicated, a set of rules that rank content on the platform. Okay, that's it. So it really decides what content shows up and in what order and all across the app, okay? And so what we talk about, it's not just uh, the user's feeds. You also have the Explore page, you have the Reels feed, you have hashtag pages. And if you want to actually, uh, to be in good terms with the algorithm, just make just remember those three things. Relationship, interest, relevancy, okay? And if you want the Instagram algorithm to pick you up, you want to uh, follow community guidelines, get creative with Reels, schedule your post at the right time. You want to use the right hashtags, post consistently, and you want to check your analytics, okay? And another thing I want to say here is that when we talk about you making sure that you are in good terms with the, with the algorithm, always make sure that you create relevant content. You want to keep up with trends. You want to post when your audience is online. Use the right, the right hashtags. Very important. You, you can post carousels to your feeds also. Okay. Frequently post reels. Reels are really where the game is at. Really. Uh, especially on Instagram, it is what it is. And the thing I, I need to mention also is that you want to write long captions because long captions are, will be picked up by the, by the algorithm to know exactly what your, uh, what your content is about. And you need to actually try out new content format and features as soon as they, as soon as they come out. Because when, when Instagram actually releases new content and new formats, if you are the, one of the few, that, like the early adopters, what's going to happen here is that the Instagram algorithm will push your content because they want to uh, let that format known so they will be willing to promote any content that actually uh, is part of uh, that, uh, that actually is in sync with that new format. So always be on the lookout for new things that come out. And uh, so th this is what it is. One thing I need to say before, to, to close to this conversation here is that 
when we talk about the Instagram algorithm for Reels, with Reels, the algorithm pulls from um, both accounts you follow and accounts you don't follow, trying to entertain you with content it thinks you will watch all the way through. So it evaluates this by looking at the following, your activity, your history of interacting with the person who posted, information about the Reel, and information about the person who posted. Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. I was just talking to you about 10, the top 10 smart ways to beat the Instagram algorithm for higher e-commerce sales. God bless you. I'll see you another time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous.